If you haven't watched the previous episodes, click the icon here. <coughs> front foot, back foot. 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 <sighs> On today's episode, we enter the death overs on a front foot, or back foot, or both. Abhishek and Shraddha now have to live up to their reputation by saying things and contradicting themselves in true comedian fashion. How will they block and tackle the bouncer's bold them? And finally, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Masala Roast. After publicly shaming our cheap producer, he has finally returned the toss coin. <laughs> and we shall toss. Call. Heads. Heads. I start. Food. Abhishek, front foot. Awesome. Can I start with the permission? Go ahead, yeah? go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Karnataka, you know, Bangalore especially, their, their party culture is so strong. Kids get high from childhood. Sugar high. <laughs> yeah, sugar high. One lick and full maja on you. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. See, see, see. Even the biryani, you know, biryani is such a special food. It's very close to my heart. But Bangalore, their biryani, they scold the biryani. What's your favorite biryani? Donne biryani. They, it's like, they're aggressive with their biryani also. Again, again. Absolutely nothing with the biryani. It tastes so good. Yeah, it tastes so good. In Chennai, in Bangalore, even the coffee is different, yeah? In Chennai, the coffee is strong and comes with extra froth, yeah? In Bangalore, it's bitter and comes with extra unwanted startup advice. Yeah, yeah, correct. <laughs> and it keeps going, no, every back cafe... Foot. Oh, 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 back, back foot, back foot, back foot. At the same time, if you see, sugar is very important for health, yeah? My party has low sugar, yeah? So every time she goes out, I give her a packet of Bangalore sambar. <laughs> The moment she's about to faint, she'll put one sugar uh, lick and put in mouth, she'll survive. Yeah? At times, life, you need some sweet. Yeah? If you're proposing to a girlfriend, don't buy chocolates and all. Give Bangalore sambar. She'll fall for you like nothing. Radha, front foot. Then come, no? Food. Whatever delicacies Chennai can make, Bangalore can make better. Abhishek, you mentioned how coffee in Chennai is uh, frothier than the coffee in Bangalore. Well, it has to be, because your coffee and milk have to compensate for the froth that your soap and water cannot make. <laughs> what are the lunch and dinner options uh, in Chennai? You've got uh, South Indian, North Indian, etc. You know, etc. is that category that implies something and all is there, but we also don't know properly. <laughs> Not a problem. My only problem is, that one thing you've put before, etc., North Indian should also go in, etc. So your lunch and dinner menu is South Indian, etc. Et now the case in Bangalore. When it comes to Bangalore, there is no etc. in food. Back foot. When in Chennai, you are never away from wholesome food that will not burn a hole in your pocket. Also, Though Bangalore has a lot of food, there are also a lot of mouths to feed. So the waiting time at an Andhra restaurant can dry up your digestive juices into gunpowder. Entertainment. Abhishek, front foot. Oh, okay. Uh, can we all talk about the Kannada film industry? Yes, yes. Because no one else is, yeah? <laughs> See, it's very simple. Tamil film industry, budget is high, quality is low. Malayalam film industry, budget is low, quality is high. Kannada film industry, both are low. <laughs> yeah, recently I got no Shraddha that uh, your industry is called Sandalwood, right? Yeah. Okay, for the longest time I thought it was the biggest star. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No one knows what Sandalwood does. You know, no one knows where you get Sandalwood. No one knows what's the value. No one knows where it's available. Just like... <laughs> but, 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 Shraddha, I have to be honest. I love Kannada songs. I absolutely love Kannada songs. That's one song. <laughs> exactly, I have no favorite Kannada songs. <laughs> Uh, 
but but Kannada film industry is sweet. They have they have only pure gentlemen and gentle women in the industry. So give a round of applause for the Kannada film industry guys. They are they are people with a huge heart, huge heart. They gave us talivar, yeah. So I think Kannada film industry, the entertainment business, the music, the natak drama artists, everyone are amazing. Sada, front foot. No matter how big the Tamil film industry is, it will not be able to accommodate an artist with such poor acting skills. <laughs> ah. Now, the thing about movies in Chennai is that they have roasted Chennai better than I have this entire show. Vada Chennai, no da Chennai. What is this Gotham City without a Batman? And the movies that don't roast Chennai are made in better places outside Chennai, like Bangalore. Back foot. Movie tickets are uh, less than 160 rupees. <laughs> Also, as much as Chennai celebrates music, music celebrates Chennai. I don't know how many more I Love Chennai anthems you guys are going to make, but keep them coming. Chennai chance ille. Sports. Sada. Try foot. Chennai watches a lot of cricket, right? But the action that happens before cricket, called auction, happens in Bangalore. 12 kilometer long Marina Beach and the National Aquatics Meet is happening in Bangalore. They didn't even ask Chennai. All this flooding, all this rain and all this cyclone, but Bangalore had to produce a swimming champion to represent India at the Tokyo Olympics. Look up Srihari Nataraj, you're wondering, Yaru. Yeah? The national hockey team trains in Bangalore. India's current badminton champion trained in Bangalore. All the cricketers Chennai is producing being coached by Bangaloreans like Rahul Dravid and Anil Kumble. So remember Chennai. You might have the kings, but Bangalore is the king maker. But you got to admit, It's good to be a sportsman from Chennai, because at least your biopic will be very good. <laughs> Only if Mary Com and Milka Singh were from Chennai, we would have better movies. And India cannot go to the Olympics without the blessings of the Mozart of Madras. <laughs> he has to give us our Olympic answer. Abhishek, front foot. The auctions happen in Bangalore. Explains why we have a bad auction every year. <laughs> every year, yeah. According to a survey, Shraddha, according to a survey, Bangalore has three famous sports. Cricket, football, and bar hopping. King of yeah. the times! The nightlife is so good, bar hopping is an actual thing. Yeah. It's very famous, no, bar hopping. Yeah. Absolutely. Bangalore is also referred to as the Silicon uh, Valley of India, right? Silicon Valley, where Technology, science, and innovation take front foot. Yeah, like, just like our game. Ready? Plug in. <laughs> in Chennai, if you want to play cricket in the streets, seven mommies and eight mamas have to approve. <laughs> Ball and the meat will be there. Ground level, you won't have space. This line and that line will be two different pitches. We'll play 17 games in this place. But Bangalore, everyone is in the traffic. Ground is full empty. <laughs> So much space that you can pick any sort. That's why hockey you're playing, football you're playing, table tennis, everything in the same ground you can play. It's lovely, the quality and the encouragement to every single sport is beautiful. <laughs> lovely. No down, enjoy life. Who <laughs> touch Boom! Masala roasted. Yeah, yeah, and it's spit only on the road. It's not. <laughs> I wish I remembered a time when Chennai was nice. That's why it's not too much built up there. Too much hype.